Before we jump into today's video, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, sour licorice belts, and butter toffee peanuts. Licorice belt? Ooh, that's new, ain't it? Forrest Whitaker's film career started in the 80s, and he caught the industry's attention when he appeared in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. According to the LA Times, Forrest got married sometime back in the day, but the marriage didn't last. We can't confirm if he was indeed married, but we do know that he did welcome a son named Ocean Alexander in 1990. Some online sources state that Ocean's mom is a woman named Monique Miller, while others claim that his mom is actress Ray Dowell. A lot of the confusion comes from Forrest's refusal to shed any light on his personal life. He told the LA Times that he wanted to stay single-mindedly focused on his career. As for Monique, they eventually went their separate ways, but she wasn't about to go without a fight. Allegedly. Lord, this is getting messy, and I love it. According to online sources, Monique spoke to the now-defunct News of the World publication and said she and Forrest had an on-again, off-again relationship for several years. According to Monique, Forrest was a nerd and unsuccessful with women, so she had to teach him how to blow her back out. <laughs> Ooh. She said he drove her wild with their candlelit boot knocking sessions and rose scented baths. Now that sounds fun as hell. <laughs> Eventually, the Hollywood star allegedly put all of the bedroom knowledge Monique had given him to use by giving his dangalang to other women. Say what now? Monique told the publication that she entered the home and found Forrest eating pancakes in bed while there were condoms scattered on the floor. Now, wait a minute now. Wait a damn minute. Monique stated she went to town destroying some paintings he had just purchased and hacked up his bed. Monique told the publication that after she was done, she was covered in feathers and maple syrup. <laughs> she got locked up and had to stay behind bars for 24 hours because Forrest allegedly refused to bail her out. Now that's what she get for ruining that man's breakfast. Despite calling Forrest a cheater, Monique says she was desperate to get back together with him. Unfortunately for her, Forrest had already moved on. See, she done taught that man how to hit all her spots and now he just gone. He gone. On the set of the 1994 film Blown Away, he met model Keisha Nash. Keisha told Ebony Magazine she had seen some of Forrest's previous movies and thought he had a gentle soul and a nice spirit. Until you knock them pancakes out his hand. <laughs> <laughs> she told People Magazine that Forrest swept her off her feet. She loved how honest, sensitive, and romantic he was. <laughs> Thanks to Monique, because that ninja didn't know nothing. Things in his professional life were going great as well, after he directed the 1995 film Waiting to Exhale. Oh, he did? I ain't know that. Forrest proposed in 1995 after one year of dating. But before they could walk down the aisle, he was locked up in March 1996 for driving under the influence. Come again now. Forrest admitted to the Daily Mail that he was once addicted to vodka tonics. So he was addicted to a specific cocktail. Okay. He described a situation where he and a friend had a little too much to drink, took off their clothes in a public area, and took a shower in an outdoor fountain. And that's why I'm a tequila girl. Okay. However, he said he finally made the decision to stop drinking. Yeah, because them antics a little suspect, Forrest. <laughs> Yeah. In May 1996, he and Keisha, who was pregnant with their first child, jetted off to Jamaica and became husband and wife without a prenup. She told InStyle magazine their ceremony was more spiritual than traditional and was sealed by a beautiful Apache marriage blessing. Their daughter Sonnet was born in October 1996, and they welcomed another daughter named True in 1998. Forrest was content with his life as an entertainer and a family man. Known for shunning the limelight, he was known for delivering his job on set and then rushing home to be with his family. Many people defined him as a loner, while a writer for the LA Times said he was just more of an introvert. Forrest told the publication, I've had pain, worked on things, you know, I've looked through the fire, now I'm trying to find some peace. As his career continued to flourish, Keisha attempted to launch a kid's clothing line, but she told Oprah Winfrey that she didn't have the time to see it through, and she was more committed to raising her children. So she put the business on the back burner. She also expressed the challenges she faced being married to a busy man. She told Ebony Magazine they stayed connected by having date nights. Well, that sounds like a good idea. They enjoyed going to local hotels, ordering room service, and watching movies all night long. 
When asked what made their marriage work, Keisha answered, plenty of respect and plenty of treats. <laughs> I know that's right, girl. When it came to disciplining their children, Forrest left that in Keisha's hands. He told Parade Magazine he wasn't a tough love guy and gladly turned over that responsibility to Keisha, who he described as being much stronger than him. In 2003, the family bought a $2 million property. They put two homes on the estate. One of the homes had 11 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, while the other had six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Forrest landed the role of the late Ugandan dictator Idi Amin in The Last King of Scotland. To prepare for the film, he put on 30 pounds and consumed a diet of only mashed bananas and beans. He immersed himself in the culture and left his family behind to live in Uganda for three months. He learned Swahili and completely transformed himself into Idi. He refused to break character for any reason, which is a process that is known as method acting. Forrest told the Daily Beast he became so immersed in Edie's life that he started dreaming as if he were the dictator. Film execs wanted him to promote the movie, and Forrest kept telling them that it wasn't the right time because he was no longer able to answer the questions as himself. He would be answering the questions as Edie. Now that sounds crazy as hell, but he played the hell out of that role. Director Kevin McDonald described it as method acting taken to extremes, and he said he watched with astonishment. He went so deep into the character that he actually started to believe that English wasn't his native language. Somebody called a psychiatrist. His wife and children went out to visit him on one occasion, and his daughter told the New York Post that when they arrived, Forrest was having a very important meeting with the late Nelson Mandela. Since Forrest has told publications that he stayed in character 24-7, it's safe to assume that he was still in character when his family visited. After filming ended, he went to take a shower, and he tried to shed Edie and resume life as Forrest. To break character, he started screaming as loud as he could to regain his own voice. In an interview, he said, Certain things stay with me for a long time. Some characters stay with you longer. For this reason, many people look down on method acting, and we can't imagine how the role affected his relationship with his family. Being separated from his loved ones as well as going above and beyond to bring the character to life paid off. The film was released in 2006 and Forrest earned his first Academy Award. What I tell y'all? Told you. He played the hell out of that role. Edie, 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 Edie. Edie, I mean. In 2009, with their kids a little bit older, Keisha was ready to try her hand at starting another business. She co-founded a luxury lip gloss line called Kissable Couture. Forrest would step up and help out whenever he was off from work. She understood how hard he worked to take care of their family, so she always appreciated when he made time to support her business endeavors. Teamwork make the dream work. By that point, they had been married for 14 years, and Keisha emphasized the importance of learning and growing with your partner during the different phases of life. But many believe that things weren't going well behind the scenes. In 2014, photos of 41-year-old Keisha sparked online concern as she looked frail at that year's Film Independent Spirit Awards. Keisha defended her thin frame by hopping on Twitter to say she was comfortable in her skin. That same year, the IRS determined that the $10,000 Forrest paid in taxes for the $1.4 million he made in 2013 just wasn't enough. Make it enough. They demanded he pay a little over $400,000, and after contesting the bill and losing the case, Forrest ponied up the cash. The first sign of trouble in his marriage emerged in September 2017 when they put their family compound on the market for $5.9 million. In most cases, celebrities tend to get rid of their properties ahead of separating or filing for divorce. A little over a year later, in October 2018, suspicions about trouble in paradise were confirmed when Forrest filed for divorce after 22 years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. Their children were over the age of 18 at that point, so there wouldn't be any child support awarded. Keisha asked for spousal support, and Forrest asked the judge to deny the request. This ninja. A source told TMZ that the former couple wanted to keep things as amicable as possible by working out a property settlement agreement. By March 2019, Forrest appeared to be jumping back into the dating world. Page Six reported he was spotted grabbing a late night bite to eat with a dark haired mystery woman. Mm. Mm. It would take almost three years for his divorce to be finalized. Three years? In April 2021, a judge signed off on the docs. They opted to keep the terms of their settlement confidential. 
Sadly, in December 2023, less than three years after their divorce was finalized, their daughter True announced that Keisha passed away at the age of 51. In an Instagram story, True wrote, Goodbye, Mommy. I love you forever and beyond. The most beautiful woman in the world. Thank you for teaching me every single thing I know. I'll see you in my dreams, and I'll feel you in my heart. A source told the Daily Mail that Keisha passed away after being in and out of the hospital for the past few months with intestinal problems following an alleged lengthy battle with an eating disorder. We here at RRG send our condolences to her loved ones during this very difficult time. 